Hello scientists, today we are talking about sun safety. Yes, we are. The aim of today's lesson, I know that light from the sun can be dangerous and that there are ways we can protect our eyes. Success criteria, I can explain the benefits and dangers of the sun. I can explain about UV light and its dangers. I can describe ways to protect our eyes from the sun. The sun, is it a hero? or a villain. Have you ever been told not to look at the sun? Is the sun good or bad? The statements below are all things that the sun does for each statement. Choose whether it needs to be a hero or a villain. Causes sunburn. Hmm, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Helps people make vitamin D. Mm, again, is that a good thing, a hero, or is it a bad thing, a villain? Nasty vitamin D. No, I'm joking. Um, provides warmth. Is that good? Is it a good? Is it a hero? Or is it a villain? Causes wrinkles. Helps plants make food. Makes people feel happier. Oh yes, indeed. Damages the eyes. Ca can cause skin cancer. Is a source of light. Hero or villain? UV, which is short for ultraviolet light. The sun emits or gives out rays of light. We can't see all the types of light that come from the sun. The visible spectrum is the name for the light that we can see and is made up of the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Another type of light that the sun emits is called UV light, ultraviolet light. UV light is invisible to the human eye, but we can see and feel its effects. Some ultraviolet rays are blocked by the ozone layer around the earth, but most of the ultraviolet light from the sun reaches us. The amount of UV light that reaches us depends on different things. It's stronger at midday and in the summer, if there are no clouds, there is more UV light. It also gets stronger nearer the equator. The location can make a difference too. Water, sand and snow all reflect UV light, again making it stronger. Ultraviolet light or UV light causes sunburn, wrinkles and skin cancer, damages the eyes and can change the colour of some materials. Here is an optional extension for you. Set up an investigation to see the effects of ultraviolet light. You could cut out several shapes from black card, place them on a piece of coloured paper and position them in a sunny spot for a week, maybe by a window. When you take the shapes off at the end of the week, you should see that the paper around the shapes has changed colour slightly. The paper under the shapes will still look the same. The ultraviolet light could not get to the paper under the shapes, so the paper under the shapes has not been damaged by the UV rays. Seeing ultraviolet light. The eye is made to let light in. This is how we see. So look in the mirror. Can you identify your pupil? 
it's the black bit right in the middle. It's the bit, I'm not going to put my fingers near my eyes, but it is the black bit right in the middle of your eye. Then you would have the colored uh, bit around about it, and then you have the white bit. So the black bit is the um, right bit in the middle of the eye. So light enters the eye through that black pupil. Um, look closely at your pupil in the mirror. Close your eyes for 30 seconds so it gets all nice and dark. And then after 30 seconds, so you, you know it's all nice and dark, you might even want to turn the lights off or, um, or close, the, um, close the curtains. And then when you open your eye and look in the mirror, you, well, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to let you, what do you notice about what happens to your pupil? It should, um, sorry, it will grow bigger in the dark to allow more light to enter into the eye. But then when it's bright, it should shrink to let in less light. The eye. If too much light comes through the pupil, it can damage the retina. It causes pain so that you instantly close your eyes or turn away from a bright light. It's very important that you never look directly at the sun, um, as the light can damage your eyes very quickly. And bright bits, the same with bright lights indoors, can also damage your eyes. So you should never look directly at anything bright, a bright light or the sun. So, protecting your eyes. Protect your skin from ultraviolet rays you can cover up so you can wear clothes or you can wear sun cream um, but what can you do to protect your eyes there are several things you should do to protect your eyes from the sun or other bright lights bright lights you should wear sunglasses when out in the sun sunglasses have a uv rating to show how well they block ultraviolet rays and make sure you get sunglasses with a high ultraviolet rating. Some glasses don't have an ultraviolet rating and these are really just toy glasses and they don't protect your eyes. In fact, because they have dark lenses but no ultraviolet filter, the pupil opens wider and so it actually lets in more ultraviolet uh, rates. So here's an example. These are just um, uh, uh, a nasty pair of uh, glasses to go and uh, watch 3D films in. But if I look outside, they are tinted, um, but they would have no ultraviolet rating at all. So actually, it would be more harmful than not wearing any sunglasses at all to wear these plasticky toy things outside because they do not stop the ultraviolet rays but they do widen uh, the pupils so it actually let in more ultraviolet lights um, um, which would actually cause more damage so there you go proper ones wear proper sunglasses all the time wrap around sunglasses wrap around sunglasses are best okay i'm sorry trendy ray-bans you are being you're now being dumped because actually I've now found out that wraparound glasses are the best. So there we go, because they co cover more of the eye. See, there we go, they cover more of the eye, so they are better. You can also wear a hat, a ha ha. There we go, there we go, back with our hat again. Um, to, to shade, so that's shading from direct and, shade, and uh, the sunglasses stop the direct light from your eyes and this stops the light coming down from the top and make sure you have regular eye tests to check your eyes. Even if you are wearing sunglasses and a hat, you should never, still never, look directly at the sun. Right, your activity is to design your own. Now, you know how the sun can damage your eyes and how to protect your eyes. Activity one, your task is to design a pair of sunglasses, these chappies here, not these ones, because remember these were the toy ones that were actually rubbish. Um, why were they rubbish? Because they had no UV protection. Or perhaps these ones here, trendy fashionable ones. 
to design a pair of sunglasses or a hat that will protect someone's eyes from the harmful effects of the sun. I want you to identify, label and explain the features. Your activity too then is to create a poster. That's one option. Option. See the white brimmed hat. But you could actually have something more sporty if you wanted. Um, to create a poster to advertise your sun protection item. Tell your customers why they need to buy your sunglasses or hat. Now, your why really needs to explain the effects of the sun and how your sunglasses or your hat can help protect them. So, for instance, I could say about this, well, it's protecting me because this brim here is stopping the sun's direct rays from entering my eyes, and the um, black bit there is then stopping the light reflected off the ground or the snow or the sun or the water from reflecting back down into my eyes. So that could be a feature and also it's because it's got lots of holes, very light material, um, then that uh, doesn't stop the sun, um, but it would let my hair breathe my hair breathe, my head breathe, it would let heat out. Um, so that is your task. Activity one, design. Number two, create the poster explaining the effects of the sun and how your item is going to protect against them. Okay, I hope you have fun. Look forward to seeing your work.